Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 18th through September 24th. This is intended to be a love reading. We're going to see what comes up. I did pre-shuffle these with the uh, bridge three times, so whatever falls out, I'm going to take. This may or may not resonate with you as it's for thousands of people. I want to thank all my supporters. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the support. This is for Taurus, September 18th through the 24th. Love reading. All right, so there's definitely a choice on the horizon, all right? But there's a fork in the road, and it's time for you to make a choice about something. And I realize those are kind of hard to see on that cloth, but that's okay. Um, maybe I can get it to go in just a little bit more. All right. The first card is the world card. That's, about, that's a, a phase. So I think a phase of your life is ending and a new one is beginning. And this week may be prominent somehow in that new phase. Change is on the horizon. All right. And this week, must there must be another step in that direction towards this big change that is coming. Um, there's something that's being left behind, okay, with this Eight of Cups. Either you're walking away from somebody or somebody's walking away from you. I mean, that could be the case because it looks like there's a lost opportunity in love. Maybe there's not, there's no love there anymore. Maybe there's um, no attraction. Maybe somebody's just not interested. I'm not sure what that is, but that's what it looks like to me. And it looks like change is definitely on the horizon and it affects your home, okay? There may be a little bit of depression, um, sadness. But there could be a new opportunity right ahead of you, a new opportunity in love, something that you did not expect, all right? Because we have this unexpected choice in love. Now, this could be you or it could be another person that's in your life because somebody is leaving and I'm not sure who it is. Um, but there is another choice in love and it's quite unexpected and it causes an ending of something, okay? One thing ends because of this unexpected choice, um, this unexpected pull regarding love. There's like a um, new feeling of emotion which causes something to, en to end. And it could be something, um, you know, it could involve children. It could involve your childhood. It could involve somebody you knew since you were a child. Um, it does have something to do with um, the past, all right? There is a um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio here in this picture. Now, I'm not sure if that's who is being left behind or who is coming in or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. There's also you, which is right in the middle of the reading, or it's another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or it is um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? There's a lot of um, fiery, exciting energy here. I think that there is a, somebody has left because or you're leaving because you're looking for, there's more excitement, there's more excitement someplace else. I mean, that's more excitement. And the thing is, is that things are moving very, very slowly. It's hard. It's hard to break away from this feeling, um, you know, this feeling of being left behind, okay? So I think that I think that there's depression over being left behind by somebody this week. That's what I see, Taurus. I think see that there, you have some inner conflicts because of some um, feelings of not being chosen. All right, and that hurts. So that's what I see. 
Um, and I, but I see that there's change ahead of you. There's change, and it looks like it's really, really good. You are about to start a new phase of your life, which leads to comfortableness. Um, and this is about the fork in the road. It's time to choose a direction, probably a new direction. This fork in the road is right down here, and I think that you're moving very slowly in a new direction. Um, and it could be towards a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, and it's quite unexpected. But it's after an ending, okay? So something ends first, it's some kind of um, attachment to somebody, maybe somebody from your past, maybe you've been in something with somebody and it ends, and um, now you're going to focus on the future and it looks like um, something unexpected could come in, but it's going to come very slowly because I see that you are moving very slowly. Um, Let's get some more cards. That Knight of Wands is a very exciting, passionate energy, but I think it's being missed. Okay? I think that that has to do with somebody leaving. I think somebody has left because they were looking for more excitement, or you were looking for more excitement. Somebody's looking for more excitement. That's all there is to it. So they're not comfortable in the current situation. This one fell out. Four of Cups twice. Big deal. Like I said, there's no more interest in a situation. And that's what it is. There's somebody's not even interested in the in the companionship and in being part of it anymore because they're looking for more excitement. Now that could be you or it could be the other person. And now they have to make a choice or you have to make a choice. This is about making a choice. And change. But it's positive change, okay? Temperance. Patience. It's also about the need for moderation. The need to um, rebalance things. It's also the need for healing, okay? Ace of Cups. New love is on the horizon. That's great. So after this person that... There's no longer interested. Either you're not interested or they're not interested. After that completely ends, because this is the ending, new love comes in. All right? This is a new welling of emotion. It's probably the beginning of a new love where it brings a lot of happiness. Could be completely unexpected, but somebody that is not your type usually, and it comes in out of the blue, there's going to be a lot of passion. There is. There's going to be a lot of passion. Um, there is. There's, there's like a, a lusty type of energy here. Okay? There is. And I think that there's probably... You, you might have some cravings this week, you know, based on lust, all right? Or um, or somebody else has cravings based on lust, okay? Somebody is looking for lust, and I'm not sure if it's you or the other person. Somebody is definitely leaving, okay? Because this is lust and this is lust underneath it. And this is somebody not even wanting to um, consider not even wanting to consider you not wanting to consider somebody or them not wanting to consider you, okay? Change is on the horizon. That's all there is to it. Um, this is clarity of mind. This is power. Taking back your power. This is having clear thinking. Um, it's a very intellectual person. So the person coming in could help you to be become more aware of who you are, okay? They could help you to moderate, because we have this moderation right here, your feelings. Here we have you putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking, taking control, taking control. 
all right moving forward knowing that you will succeed again this is a major transformation okay so this is you putting yourself in the driver's seat taking control of the situation taking control of your feelings bringing back your power moving forward and realizing that there's a new love after this ending okay so this new person coming in can be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio or a Libra Gemini Aquarius all right could be a fire sign too. Aries Leo Sagittarius because we have them all all right um, but I do see that one thing is ending because something new is right on the horizon you are about to start a brand new uh, phase in your life if you haven't started it already and this is just another step where things are a little out of balance but you're starting to take back control of what you want and you're putting yourself in the driver's seat and you're doing what you need to do to move forward and to find love okay because I think that there's been some rejection and that um, maybe you've overindulged because of the rejection and now it's time to heal and rebalance your life because I think that new love is right around the corner get a couple of these there's a lusty energy here that's for darn sure now I'm not sure if it's you or the other person you know I think that somebody has some impulses and they're looking for a lot of excitement or more excitement okay um, and if it just and there's destiny here so I think that this is meant to be and that it's time for you to move in a positive direction to move forward and um, because there is a new love somebody that you are very compatible with with these with this lovers card somebody that you are super compatible with um, and there could be a lot of passion a lot of passion with this person and this is just another step this is where you take back your power you take control of your life so this week it's about owning up to it, I think. This is an awakening. There you are, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is broadening your horizons, building a new foundation after leaving something behind. Either somebody's leaving you behind or you're leaving it behind, something you are emotionally attached to, okay? And it's connected to you. It brings in... Um, security and stability and it helps you to build a new foundation after something has ended okay a new love could be somebody from your past this is a juggling card and the change card so you have this card twice this just lets me know that you are about to have a change things are changing this week something is happening that is changing your path Perhaps there's no more fighting some, because this is the after tarot. There's no more bickering. Something has come. There's been a conclusion. All right. There's been a conclusion that brings a little bit of stability back because you realize, okay, there's no need. We can work this out. We, can, we don't need to fight about this. This is, this is okay. And it leads to a wonderful union. Okay. In the future. This is the future. This is the after tarot. This is in the future. You know, this week you might be going through, you know, releasing somebody or something or somebody released you that hurts, you know, and it ends. But then you put take back your, your strength and you put yourself in the driver's seat. You take control of the situation inside, you know, and you just think, you know what? There is somebody else. There is somebody else for me. I can build another future. I can build a new foundation. You know, there could be somebody from the past. There could be, you know, it's very unexpected. It comes in all of a sudden. And it releases any need to bicker about anything. All right? And it brings in this, probably, it could be somebody, a soulmate. Now, you do have a lot of twos. Twos are about faith and trust. You need to have faith and trust in the plan. Two, 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 faith and trust. You're on the right track. This is meant to be. They, you do have to make a choice. There's no doubt about it. Twos are about making choices. It's about decisions. 
The Two of Pentacles are about change. You have it twice. Change is right ahead of you, if not happening right now. And it's a change that affects your home. Okay. But it's very practical. And I see you just, you know, having, having this awakening that changes your outlook on things. I think that something ends and you decide to just move forward. So that is what I have, Taurus. It looks like it's a week of change for you. Um, but I think it's good change. I do. Talk to you later.